Hey guys, uh, Nate Horvat with Staccato. Nate, you're taking my job. <laughs> not your turn, Nate. I'm not. I'm not doing the intros. No. I don't, I'm not going to intro no. Kevin and Devin. No. Come on, I thought that's what we did here. <laughs> no. So. All right. So, uh, before Pepsi Nate rudely interrupted me. Welcome to SHOT Show 2024. We are at the Gators Hour booth, The Recoil Podcast. I'm here with Devin Perkins, Churchward Chronicles. I am Kevin Dixie, also known as The Real NOC. And we have Nate with Staccato. Now we're going to talk about you. And we have uh, uh, Staccato in the building. And now I'm going to let you take it over, sir. So before you talk about the goodies, sure. we would like to know a little bit about you. Want to know your name and want to know, hey, Married, not married, where you live, and favorite hobby. Something, break the ice a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Nate Horvat. Uh, I'm married, got three kids, uh, live in Austin, Texas. The Staccato's in Florence, Texas. So that's right between Austin and Dallas. Um, and um, just got back from uh, skiing, Park City. So that's a hobby for okay. you. Outside of shooting, you know, skiing and mountain biking. Skiing looks very uh, dangerous. Uh, shooting, shooting might be more dangerous. Really? So how, 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 like, what's the fastest you've ever been if you had to guess miles per hour going down a slope? F probably only about 55. I'm not, I'm not only that. 55. Only? I mean, my it's kids, my kids will go faster. Have, have they started using the, like, uh, the short skis? Have you seen those? They almost look like rollerblades. Yeah, no, skis. they're, they're on the, they want to get the long ones to go as fast as possible. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. That's, that's interesting. All right. So you are, um, with Staccato. Yes, so, what do you do over there? I'm the CEO. So that will make you important. All right. <laughs> so we have, we have, uh, a few toys sitting out here on the table and I'm just going to let you take it away, sir, and walk us through what you got. Perfect. So one thing I wanted to highlight today, uh, we have a very special gun. This is a collaboration. Uh, this is a, um, we're calling it the Staccato Berry. And the reason for that is it's a collaboration with a gentleman named Mike Cuisenberry, who's a famous Damascus maker in the knife industry. And Mike's been making Damascus blades for many, many years. We'll, we'll show the matching blade in a moment. Uh, this is, we did this with the XC. So he basically handmade the Damascus that we then machined to make the slide on our Staccato XC. Uh, this is a one of one gun, um, serial number Q1. It's got the Staccato berry. Uh, we will auction this off for charity. All the proceeds will go to benefit a, a charity called Fallen Blue, which benefits the families of uh, fallen police officers. Um, the other thing about this gun, the Staccato XC, is that it's become very popular with everyone from civilians to competition shooters, shooting three gun, but also law enforcement. We've got about 1400 departments now where our pistols are approved for duty use. This pistol just got issued to a department that uh, has 300 officers. So this, this Staccato XC will be the issued, the issued handgun. So that's pretty exciting. We're, we're very excited about, about this one. The matching blade is here and you probably can't, can't really tell on the camera, but the Damascus, and the beautiful thing about this, given that it's handmade Damascus, is that it's very symmetrical. So the folds and are symmetrical both for the knife and for the slide. So that's the, the Staccato XC. I got to tell you, so because he already snitched on me, I do own an XC. And I got to say, it is a phenomenal piece of machinery. I will say that. Phenomenal piece. Great shooter. I've taken it. I'm an instructor myself, but I've taken it to, I think, three other classes and I've ran it. I probably got a chance to crank four or 5,000 rounds out of it. Uh, phenomenal firearm, worked great. And then I made a mistake that I, that I don't know if it happened here, but I got to tell you, man, because the machines are so nice, when I have mine customized, literally, he'll tell you, I'm scared to shoot it. It's so beautiful, I don't want to scratch it, right? And I know it'll run. Uh, and it was, it was crazy because I've always had the thought process, to be honest with you, Nate, I was, thought process of, you know, I've been behind departments and I've, I've seen budgets and things like that. And I'm like, well, how do we, how, like, I'm thinking, like, how, do, how are departments budgeting for these things? It's like, I don't know if I'm really going to see them out. And then I went, out, I went and took a, a, a class down in Florida. And it's 27 of, 27 of us in that class. It's Miami-Dade. Okay, yep. And their boys were carrying them. Yeah. I'm like, okay. They were carrying them. They were running them. Yeah. Uh, so I've, I've seen these things not only be uh, shot, I've seen them being ran, and professionals are relying on them uh, with civilians alike. So I say that to say I'm scared to shoot mine because it's pretty, but I know it's a machine. I know it works because I shot it before I had it done up. Uh, but they run. 
Yeah. Right? They they run. They 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 are they are indeed fighting machines. I will definitely give you that. They are fighting machines, which is always the balance because it's like you get something, you're like it's beautiful. Um, to me, as far as the price goes, it, it depends on where you're shopping. You, you kind of know what your budget is and you're shopping at rain. Uh, but I've, I've been happy with mine. I have no complaints about it whatsoever. Um, no qualms, man. Good piece of machinery. I haven't had a chance to really experience the other one, so I'm excited to hear about what else we got. Terrific. So let's talk about the, the CS first because it's really the predecessor to the C, which is new for this year. So just briefly on the, on the Staccato CS, this pistol we introduced, um, we introduced this pistol last year, and uh, it is 3.5 inch barrel. Really, this one, the concept behind this gun was carry guns aren't that fun to shoot, typically, especially the smaller. The smaller, the harder to shoot. So we wanted to introduce a gun that you could carry that had small enough profile to do that, but that it was also fun enough to shoot that you would shoot it all day that you could take this t pistol to a class, you could run 500, 600 rounds through it during a class, shoot it all day long, and your hand wouldn't be sore, you could shoot it again the day after. So we refer to this little guy as pure staccato, just smaller. That's the staccato CS. Anything on that before I run to the yeah, C? Yeah, 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 I, I, I would like to know something. I wanna know your opinion about this. So, when we're working with individuals and you start thinking about that, clearly it's a, a self-defense firearm, it's a concealed carry uh, option. There is a conversation, and a lot of this is over beer and cigars, just kind of joking around with buddies, uh, like, hey man, I'm gonna go, you know, if I invest, you know, a couple of grand in, in, into a gun, you know, you use it, you lose it, kind of conversation. So if somebody's approaching you about like, that, hey man, I love it, it's great, it's awesome, but you know, I would hate to have to, you know, do the unfortunate and then it not come home with me. How do you handle that conversation? Yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's a pretty easy conversation. Um, if for me, if I'm, if I'm gonna have to ever use my firearm for personal defense, I, I wanna use the, the, shoot, the pistol that I can shoot the best, you know, better than, than any other gun. Um, so if I'm not gonna carry some gun that I think is a throwaway gun that I know doesn't perform at the same level because, you know, listen, if you're using your weapon at that moment, you're gonna want the absolute best that you have and you could use. And guess what? You're alive. And if you, that's right, life is precious. So if that goes to the evidence locker and you're alive because you had to use it and you hit what you wanted to hit and you didn't, you know, hit any, anyone else, that's a big win. Okay, that's, I mean, I, I think that's a fair answer. I often tell people that as well. Um, if you're gonna, you know, you have to think about it like this. If you are depending on it to save your life, which is why you made that investment, I would hope, in the first place, what is your life worth? It's, it's all, I always go back to that, like, what is your life worth? So yes, when you actually calm down from the adrenaline and what occurred and all those things, and you get all the, the help you need, and maybe you're sitting at home like, <laughs> right, maybe? But at the same time, you're alive because of that investment. No different than investing in an automobile that you know is rated to save you and your family if you get in a collision. You, 100%. Yeah, you want something that's gonna be there for you. Okay, so what's going on with this guy? Terrific, so the Staccato C. Um, uh, so this is the Staccato C. Uh, this is a four inch barrel and slide, and it has the same grip as the Staccato CS. So you've got the same compact profile, but a slightly longer gun. This one also comes with a full-size grip, which is 18 plus one capacity. The standard is, uh, the small grip is 16 plus one. Uh, the Staccato C basically takes everything we did with the CS and brings it into a four-inch platform. So it's an external extractor. It's got the new improved frame um, and uh, also the, the barrel serrations in the barrel fluting, which helps keep that cool. This, part of the, the, um, the catalyst for this gun was not just continuing to take our improvements that we make in one, in one model and bring it throughout the line, but also we, the, the Staccato C2 is incredible, incredibly popular with the law enforcement market, but it's a 3.9 inch barrel. And many departments have a minimum four inch requirement for carrying on duty. And so when we made this gun, we said, okay, we're gonna bring it out a 10th of an inch, make it hit the four inch requirement. Now law enforcement has an alternative to the Staccato P, which is a full-size gun that they can carry. Um, and that's the story really behind the uh, Staccato C. Okay, that's pretty cool. So if I'm, if, 
If you're counseling me, I'm, I'm the, the purchasing officer at ABC Department. You know, I got 100 guys I want to arm, and why, what, why would, what would make you, in a consideration, guide me toward the C versus the XC? Budget. Okay. Budget. The, um, the XC is, um, is, is twice as expensive. We also see, we also see uh, more SWAT teams and SWAT team members carrying the XC, and, um, and we see more um, patrol officers and s departments more broadly uh, carrying the staccato, the staccato P, or the C for that matter. The P being the full-size gun, uh, four and a half inches. Okay, and, I, and I'm in the training industry myself, so I, I, I kind of pay attention to things. I'm like, I like all things training, and I see the staccato. It's not necessarily brand new, but it's definitely stood up and started putting more emphasis on their training department. Is, uh, can you tell us about like what was the revamp of that? Why and how it's going? Yeah, absolutely. The uh, when well, we started with the pistols, we wanted to make amazing pistols for everybody who's basically um, anyone. We want to serve those who protect and embody American freedoms. So for us, that's not just law enforcement, but it's also any American civilians, people using it for home defense, for personal defense. So we started by making the pistols that were amazing for them to do that. Then beyond the pistol, of course, there's a training element of it, right? Um, at, the, at the end of the day, what your skill set is, your, is your skill set. And so we thought, okay, well, we want to be able to offer that. We also have law enforcement departments, when they adopt the staccato, generally they're moving from a striker fire platform. So we, do, we provide for them a 2011 transition course. Um, which you know, their officers um, enjoy, and also red dot training. That training then led over, we had this capability and said, okay, well, let's offer that to our civilian customers as well. And so at the Staccato campus and the Staccato Ranch, we started to, to offer more training, um, and we've had a lot of demand for it, and so we'll continue to, to offer more classes in 2024. As simple as that is, it's ingenious, because that is a, it is a difference between a striker fire platform and going to your platform. So it's, yeah, it's, it's that, that's very important. It's a small detail, but that's absolutely important. Uh, absolutely. So I, I know these are, are, are new, just came out. There's, there's a heritage, correct? There is a heritage. So what, tell us about that. So the heritage 415, we released uh, a limited edition uh, heritage. It was based around the original Staccato P. So the Staccato P was uh, basically the, the origin story for Staccato. The Staccato, it was the STI Staccato P. We introduced it in 2019. And it was, that pistol was, was developed in, uh, in partnership with the U.S. Marshals SOG team, Long Beach SWAT, uh, Riverside County Sheriff's Office, and a couple of other law enforcement departments who had come to us and said, hey, this is back to the STI days. And they said, listen, we would like to have you build us a pistol that has all of the performance of the STI, but has the durability and the reliability of you know, the best striker fired platform out there. And so we went to work on that and that was where we developed Staccato. The Staccato P, P stood for professional and we introduced it in 2019. It was a very popular gun. It was a full length dust cover, about 415 in length. And um, the departments loved it and that was basically the start of Staccato. The next year we rebranded the entire company to Staccato to really mark, delineate our heritage as a competition focused company and our future as a company serving those who are protecting their communities and protecting themselves for self-defense. So making uh, pistols that have performance but are reliable. And that was the, the birth of Staccato. So after several years, we had, we had ongoing interest. Oh, please bring back, please bring back the 415. Please bring back the 415. So um, at the, the last quarter of 2023, we brought it back, sort of a little bit of an updated version. We put some nice slide serrations in it. Uh, we did uh, unique serial numbers. Unfortunately, they sold out in about two weeks. So um, those are, those are we, might, we might be able to find one for you, Kevin. Oh, see. Right there. This, this man is a professional. Now I have uh, one last question because they're getting us to wrap up because I, I, I absolutely want to geek out about the technology in these guns. But I do have to ask you something because I am, one thing that I do is I stay connected with the people. Um, we talk to people about things and there was even a little, I was even a little concerned. Uh, and it's not necessarily your fault, 
Sure. But it is something that everyone has to address. Holster support. Um, how is that coming along with the products? Are there, are there if, if you can, are there brands that are cranking out, getting what the consumer needs for your platform? So I know a, a lot of guys, like for instance, with my XC, I got it and the holster support was, I was, I was able to use my connections yep. to get something, but that uh, average consumer is not going to be able to do that. So how is that going? Yeah, great question, Kevin. Thanks for bringing that up. It's, uh, we're making good progress on holster support. Uh, Safari Land just introduced um, a holster. Obviously, they're, they're pretty big, so they can put out a lot of product. Um, it's it's um, compatible with the, the CS, the C2, uh, the P. Um, the new C um, has a slightly wider frame. So we have um, Tenacore, um, who's a great holster partner of ours, um, Black Point Tactical, and Alpha Omega and TXC are all actively working on um, holsters for the C and the 2024 CS. Um, and I expect that the Safari Land, the new holster they introduced, will also quickly um, be available as well. But we, we, we recognize that and it's something we're, we're working hard on um, to, to be sure that we can provide that and get it out into gun stores as well. Okay, there you go, Recall, because I know, I know that question was going to come up if I didn't ask it. So I'm, I'm glad that he had an answer for it. All right, so um, in wrapping, I've been forgetting to do this all day, but I'm going to remember it for you. Give us, we got skiing, but give us, before we leave, a fun fact about you. Fun fact, the, um, well, this is a fact, I don't know how fun it is, but maybe not everyone knows it. The, uh, I started as an enlisted Marine, um, so before, you know, going back to school, I served four years in the Marine Corps um, in Fast Company. Back, back in the day, it was in from 88 to 92 in the first Gulf War. And um, so that kind of gives me some of the background that I had and the excitement that I had when I got back into the industry, when I came back to STI, because at our, at our business, we have about 250 team members and close to 30% of them are veterans. Um, so. Okay, pretty cool. Well, sir, I want to thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, thank you guys. very much for bringing all the, the great toys over. Hey, guys, once again, we told you a list of the most phenomenal guests. Yeah, you know, Staccatos, I know you've been drooling over them for a while. You got to see more. I'm pretty sure that he will support when I say stop drooling and just reach in your pocket <laughs> and then take one home. Uh, that being said, Show 2024, Gators Eyewear Booth, the Recoil Podcast. We will see you guys with the next guest. Rock.